Hi, my name's Sean Gladwell. I'm engaged in uh, virtual reality or extended reality. I'm making a work for Melbourne now that I'm very excited about because it, it involves a death simulator. It's probably the best way to think about it is that it looks at certain processes that actually start to kind of fade away in the body. Our experience of consciousness once our heart stops working. And that process has been measured in scientific ways through very incredible scientific instruments like the electroencephalograph. There's a lot of cardio reading tools and it's an amazing process to look at the data of how the body loses its heat, how the processes start to kind of fade away. And really this project is trying to visualise that process with really great tools and amazing know-how driving the tools. This work is really about a kind of sense of how big the universe is based on current scientific knowledge and how brief life in terms of its measurements leave the body after death. And they're kind of coupled in a way. People come into a simulator, they have this experience that's very personal I think, simulating uh, a kind of death I would hope. But I also like the idea that there's a kind of procession into the space, people go in there together and they experience it together. And so there's separate pods or stations People will lie down on these surfaces. They will kind of feel some vibration that's coordinated to their pulse. They'll have a head-mounted display on, which makes the entire space change around them. And in this case, the camera above all of these stations, the camera will give a holographic image of the body, of your body. So it'll be quite beautiful to go into this simulator and then get into another space, which is virtual, and then see a line out to your body. You will actually see yourself in a, in a kind of mirror, but that image, the mirror or the avatar will be in a different space. I think an experience like that, everyone will have a different re response to and including not even wanting to do it, which is I think valid. Uh, and that will be sort of covered in a way or acknowledged. It's what you make of the experience based on these events that take place outside the body, which is external stimuli, whether the bed is vibrating in syncopation to your pulse, right through to other things that happen outside the body that really starts to reinforce the simulation. And you, you don't need much. Once your eyes have been completely arrested by this head-mounted display, very subtle modifications of the body can be amplified through the experience. And so, in a way, it's a very problematic medium because it, it has that ability to manipulate people's experiences on so many levels, that has to be very carefully approached.